Gucci gang, 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 Gucci gang. Spent three racks on new main. Yeah. My bank love do complain. Ooh. Cardi Kaizoku. Oh, it's just my Patreon I just launched. If you like what I do and want to support me, toss a few bucks my way. Link in the description and on screen until someone subscribes to the tier and changes it. Okay, on to the video. We have a queen versus Katakuri. Uh, we'll go second to deny them of 10 cost pick mom on curve. We keep this. Hope you guys don't mind watching me learn on the fly. As with no plays, we'll copy him. Yeah, I swear some of you guys expect like perfect gameplay and for me to like coach you guys or something, but this is not what this channel is about. I'm not your free coach, so. Uh, they attack with their leader for 9, we'll take. Anji trigger. We will discard pound to play him. I think we want these cards in hand, but I could be wrong. We'll attack with our leader for five. Take. We get a cracker trigger. Yeah, we'll attack with Sanji for five. We take. We'll play another Sanji and pass. We're at equal life, so this cracker doesn't have double attack. They attack Sanji with their Cracker for 5. Counter for 2. Get them to waste another attack on him. For 5. Dang, I wish I had any counter, at least. Now they know we don't have any counter. They play Randolph and pass. And even bounce it back to hand. I don't want to waste a red rock on Randolph. The 6 Dawn Queen and attack Cracker for 11. Then I'll be 8 Dawn next turn. I could play Usopp to bounce Randolph back. Maybe going first is better because this curve seems to fit more for what I have. Tracker dies, we'll pass. Yeah, going back to what I said, I feel like some of you guys expect me to like provide like free coaching to you guys for some reason. That's stuff like that like people charge for. Kinda entitled for you to expect that out of a guy making free YouTube videos who never ever claimed that he'd be posting professional level gameplay so I don't know where you guys got that information or got that impression from they attack us with Randolph for 9 we'll take Red Rock not hit him can't a guy just post for entertainment anymore? if you're such a tryhard at the game then why are you watching me instead of sweating on your own? they attack with Katakuri for 11 okay I'll stop talking about it now just wanted to get that off my chest we'll block with Sanji Alright, they didn't develop anything, which is good. We'll play Soga King, bounce him back to hand. Uh, at this point, we can drop Yamato next turn, so maybe don't need Katakuri anymore. I could have played Katakuri this turn. Oh, but I can't uh, heal with leader anyway. We'll attack their leader with queen for six. They'll be at nine dawn. So no 10 cost big mom. Counter for 2, we'll pass. They attack us with their leader for 10, we'll take fetch trigger, which worst timing. Ooh, they get a Randolph. I can't hit him with Yamato because we're at 4 total life and he's at 5 cost. What do I do? This sucks. Well, we'll play Yamato anyway to heal. I can't target him. I their leader for 5. Oh, I should have done this first. They might get like a cracker or something that I can kill with Yamato. Counter for two though. Back with uh, Soga King for seven. They get a Shirohoshi trigger, which I could have killed with Yamato if I had done that attack string in a different order. But I was too busy getting flustered over stupid ass viewers that I didn't think that through. You know what? Let's revisit the topic. If you're expecting some type of video from me and I'm not providing it, why don't you fill the niche then? There's plenty of room for new content creators in this space and there's literally nothing stopping you from doing it. I don't understand the need to try to tear someone else down. Uh, they attack with their leader for 5 after playing 10 cost big mom. Counter for pound, with pound. Attack with Randolph for 7 into our leader? Yeah. I guess we'll counter for 3 here. See, we're still 4 life total. Uh, I could 3000 rolls red rock to get rid of both of these guys. Or, hmm. We'll attack Randolph with Yamato for 9. Maybe he dies. Nope, they counter. 
for three. I want to attack with my leader. Oh, I can't even heal yet. But we'll red rock the Lin Lin for sure. Then I have four Dawn. If I have 3000 worlds to Randolph, can he finish me? No, 10 mom and then I can counter for one. If I attack, he might get like a trigger. So that's the risk. I could drop Doflamingo and then heal one. Yeah, that works. Ooh, glad I saw that. Do Doflamingo. Uh, I want a brulee trigger. Then I want to draw a Katakuri. I'm good with Red Rock for a while, I think, since I have another in hand. Something like this. Dawn Leader, attack them for 6. Kill a life, which is a brulee. They counter for 2, we'll attack with Soge King for 6. They counter for 2, we'll pass. They know what's on top, right? Are they saving it for like specific timing? I would have thought they might want to get like a lucky trigger or something. They attack with Randolph for 7. To our leader. We take it. Relay trigger. And then 10 cost Big Mom. Oh no, 2 down leader. Attacking us for 8. Or Sogi King for 8. We'll block with Brulee. 8 cost Katakuri can up life their Shirahoshi. Uh, I don't want him to trigger that, but I can't do anything about it really. I think we can afford to attack Randolph. For, oh, we can play Yamato to kill him and heal a life. Sounds good. Play Yamato, target Randolph, heal a life. Attack their leader with Queen for 5, since I can't use leader ability anyway, since I'm at 5 total. Maybe they'll just take it for the card draw with Shirahoshi. They counter for 2k with Strusen. We'll do Dawn on Doge King, attack for 7. I'm hopeful about this game. Shirahoshi trigger. See what they discard. If they discard any counters. That means they probably have 10 cost Big Mom in hand. Thunderbolt and there's another Shirahoshi. Attack with Yamato for 9. Take. This is a Doflamingo, right? And then we draw Red Rock next turn. We get a Petals Petal trigger, we'll pass. They discarded a Sanji to play him. One less counter to worry about. They attack us with their Petals Petal for 5. Ooh, actually we don't have any counter in hand, that's not good. Take this. Red Rock trigger. Might as well use it on their Petals Petal. So they don't draw a card. Maybe they can finish us off with Shirahoshi. Maybe I should have bought them deck the Shirahoshi. They play 10 cost Big Mom, so we don't have to worry about that anyway. Attack us with their leader for 5. Oh wait, we lose. Because I don't have any counter. Oh my god, this sucks. What the heck? Rematch? That was the worst. Alright. If I had any counter in hand there, I think I could have turned the game around, but unfortunately I didn't. Okay, bye. We have a queen versus Yamato. They choose to go second, so... Uh, I think we keep. I don't know if this is a brick tan or not. We'll pass. It's very top heavy. But so is Yamato. The character. I don't know about the deck. I don't know. Each Yamato that I face has like a different deck, so I can't really... Make that call. They pass with no play, so we'll, we'll attack their leader for 5 with ours. They take no trigger. We play Brulee and pass. They play a Pudding Searcher. Yeah, it sucks that Yamato has to use the Big Mom Pirates cards in her deck. I wish she could use Wano cards, make it a lot more thematic. They pick up a Sanji Blocker, play Peros Pedo, attack us for 5. We'll take. Edge trigger that doesn't help. Who pound helps? I guess we play pound and we can play Soga King next turn. Two down leader attack them for seven. Take no trigger. We play pound and pass. They'll attack with Peros Pero, but block with pound. Bottom life him. Or top life? No, bottom life. I don't want him to come back out. 
Yep, they attack how we expect, we'll block how we expect, we'll bottom life them how we expect. They attack us with their leader for 5k. I didn't think that far ahead, but we'll counter for 2. Play pudding. If they play a 5 cost, we can bounce it back to hand. Yeah, at this point, anything they play, we can bounce back to hand. 7 cost, Lin Lin. They searched by a pudding. They play the Sanji blocker that they searched earlier. We'll play Soge King, bounce him back to hand. I think we need this red rock. Drop a Sanji and uh. Got the booty. Back with our leader for five. Counter for one, we'll pass. Alright, we can Yamato to kill something. They play, yeah, Lin Lin, we'll give him a life. And now there's eight cards between our lives. So we can play Yamato and kill that Lin Lin. Attack with their leader for five, we'll counter for two. We'll attack with our leader and Soga King first in case they get something scarier out of life. Probably not though. Attack with leader for five, anyway. We know it's a Yamato turn. They counter for one, we'll attack with Soga King for six. Counter for two, we'll play. You know, maybe Mihawk's better. Yeah, let's play Mihawk. Bottom life, Linlin, Lin, and pass. That way, if they play 8 cost Katakuri, we can hit him with Yamato as well. Caught myself there at the last second. Feels like without 10 cost Big Mom, Yamato is a lot easier to handle than uh, Katakuri. They play their own Yamato and kill our Soge King. They attack our leader with theirs for 5. If I can heal one, I can hit their Yamato actually. We'll counter for 1k. There's no way to heal a life, right? So I guess we'll bedrock the Yamato. I think so, that's what we want to do. Uh, we'll do... 4 down leader attack for 9. They take... no trigger please. Sanji trigger. Attack with Mihawk for 9. They take... no trigger please. He got a trigger, didn't he? Tracker trigger, we'll pass. That's not good. I feel like I learned nothing playing against yellow. Because like, can you account for this situation where he gets two back-to-back -back triggers? Then he plays a Yamato and kills our brulee. Next our leader with cracker for five, we'll take one. Boa trigger, yeah. Does that teach you anything? Getting a boa trigger? Back with Yamato for five, we'll counter for two. They don't attack with Sanji, there's 5 cards. Play Yamato, we can kill their blocker. So we do that. Kill blocker, we can use our leader ability too. So on leader attack, tracker for 6 will gain a life, I guess. They counter for 2. Attack cracker with Mihawk for 9. We die, we pass. Hopefully Boa can save our Mihawk. They play another 7 cost Lin Lin, we'll give him a life. The Yamato can hit a 7 cost. Yeah, we can hit Lin Lin with our other Yamato. Down leader, second down leader attack ours for 7. Ooh, but if we take the life, we can't hit Lin Lin anymore. But we have to. We'll take. Mihawk can hit Lin Lin. They pass. Uh. Well, our leader cannot heal, but we can't do anything. With the remaining dawn anyway. We just attack the leader with Mihawk for 9. We take, we'll attack with Yamato for 9. Yeah, the only thing I don't know how to really do with this deck is when I should attack and when I shouldn't attack. But they took those two life and didn't get a trigger. So that's good. So I'll leader attack them for 6. They counter for 2. Play Mihawk, bottom life, the bottom deck, the Lin Lin, and pass. They concede. Uh, like 6 minutes of footage, and if I cut out all the silence, it might be like 4 minutes. Hey, I'll throw it in somewhere. Okay, bye. Queen Mirror, freaking queen! They're going second. I think this is a good keep. Keep. We pass. We can play our Doflamingo out before he does. I don't know if that matters. They pass. Okay, Doflamingo. Uh... Uh... 
want Sanji for next turn. And then... Something like that, right? We'll attack their leader for 5. Counter for 1, we'll pass. We'll learn from this queen how to play queen. In the mirror. We just copy what he does. They attack us with their leader for 5. Oh, but since we went first, we kind of lose that ability. Counter for 1. And then we play Sanji, attack for 6. They play Sanji, hey, we'll just copy him. On leader, attack for 6. Maybe I should attack with Doflamingo in this matchup. Because they can kill it with Mihawk and everybody and their deck. Counter for 2, we'll play Sanji and pass. Yeah, I think I should have went 5-5. Five, five, just to put the pressure on. We'll hit Doge King next turn. Bounce to Sanji back. I think I should be attacking with him against another queen. Let's see if he does it. Maybe I'll be the one teaching him, unless I lose, and then cut this part out of the video. They play Doflamingo? Yeah, they're copying us. We're the sensei now. If I talk about this more, maybe it'll be a lot harder to cut out of the video, so I have to keep it all in. And just so you guys know, um, just a joke, I don't really cut much of any of those jokes out. If you think I'm like hiding my misplays, I don't. They attack us with their leader for 8. We take another Soga King. They pass. Uh, we play Soga Kingu. Bounce Sanji back. If I want out of here, I don't think I want another Soga King anymore. Red Rock would be useful, so we'll get rid of Brulee. We'll attack them with Sanji for 5. They take. Maybe attacking them is helping them find their 9 costs in their life. I don't know. He attacked me first, so I'm just copying him. They get a Sanji trigger. We'll attack them with our leader for five. Counter for one. That's a lot of Sanjis. Oh, that's the one I bounced back to hand. Never mind. Alright, next turn is Yamato turn. They play 8 cost Katakuri. They bottom lifed our Soge King. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. They attack Sanji with their queen. Counter for two. They attack Sanji with their Sanji. We block with Dofa Lamingo. They pass. Uh, we play Yamato. We can kill their Sanji. Oh, but I, I think they have so many so low cards in hand that if we kill Doflamingo, we could just ping them to death. Yeah. Play Yamato. Kill Dofa Lamingo. Attack their Sanji with our leader for 5. He dies? Okay, so these are 9 costs in their hand, I bet. We'll attack with the other Sanji for 5. They have to take, yep, we'll pass. Red Rock should help with that. Maybe we just swing with our leader for 9k. 2 turns, and Red Rock something. They Red Rocked our Yamato. They're gonna do what we do. Nope, they count they attack with their leader for five. Counter for one. And then they attack with Katakuri for eight into Sanji, I bet. But they just 3,000 molds him and attack our leader with Katakuri for eight. We take, we get a 3,000 molds trigger, that doesn't help. I can Katakuri his Katakuri. Yeah, I do that. They Katakuri, put his Katakuri on the bottom. Put on leader, attack them for seven. We take we pass. Mihawk and Yamato can't hit our Katakuri, so I think since our guy is out and he can't deal with it, we win. Unless he has a red rock. He's used one. I've used none, but I have two in hand. Yamato doesn't heal him because he's at two life. He has five cards in hand, so I don't think his leader ability will come into play this turn. Maybe I am the sensei. I'll be honest, this is like my fourth game with Queen ever. But he's like so simple to play that pretty easy to just jump into it. I just don't know all the nuances yet in all the matchups. But I'm figuring it out for you guys on the fly. Learn with me. You play Kaya to cycle two. Which indicates that their hand is pretty bricked. Like me after I eat Taco Bell. EMI? I don't know. 
Six down, meter attack is for 11. We take pound. They miss all Sunday. Ooh, I don't run this one. Oh, that's pretty good. You can bring back your red rocks, which they'll do, right? So I should just play more big guys. Play Yamato, kill miss all Sunday. And we'll have two attackers. Sounds good. Yamato, kill miss all Sunday. They bring back red rock. Oh wait, they didn't. Why didn't they? Oh, their leader's not a Baroque works. So what's the point of the uh this all Sunday? Oh, they just realized that and they're gonna go back to the deck editor and take that card out. We won that. Okay. Bye. Cardi Kaizoku.